Hi everyone, it's Anthony from the Noble Samurai team here again, and in this video I'd like to show you how to use Market Samurai to find long tail keyword derivatives that are relevant to your niche. But before we get to Market Samurai, I'd like to introduce you to a concept called the Keyword Tree, which is a good way to visualise the overall process of building a keyword optimised website that attracts organic traffic. On day two of the challenge, you identified a theme keyword as the basis for your website. This theme keyword is equivalent to the trunk of your keyword tree. You then identified several category keywords which were related to your theme keyword and also had a reasonable amount of traffic and an acceptable level of competition. These category keywords make up the branches of your keyword tree. Today, I'd like to introduce you to two additional types of keywords. The first type are called long tail derivative keywords, and the second type are called semantic long tail derivative keywords. These keywords give your website greater breadth and relevancy and are equivalent to the leaves on your keyword tree. So let's take a look at each of these new keyword types in more detail. In case you're wondering what the term long tail actually means, a long tail keyword is simply a phrase that contains several words. The more words in the phrase, the longer the tail. Long tail derivative keywords are those that actually include the root keyword phrase. The easiest way to understand this is to look at an example. Let's say that your theme keyword was sleeping bag. A long tail derivative of this keyword might be British Army sleeping bag. As you can see in this example, the root keyword phrase sleeping bag is contained within the long tail phrase which is why it's called a derivative. Now semantic long tail derivative keywords are phrases that do not contain the root keyword phrase exactly but are still semantically related. So with the sleeping bag example, a semantic long tail derivative keyword might be mountain slumber bag. In this example, the initial keyword phrase sleeping bag is not actually part of the long tail keyword phrase, but Google still sees them as being related. The best thing about long tail keyword phrases are that the competition for these phrases is often lower. So, if you create a blog post that specifically targets a long tail derivative phrase, you may have a good chance of ranking for that keyword. The flip side of the equation, of course, is that long tail keyword phrases do not usually generate a great deal of traffic, which is why you need to find as many of them as possible. So, coming back to the keyword tree, what you really want to create is a website that contains good quality articles that target your theme keyword, your category keywords, and also a wide range of long tail derivative keywords and semantic long tail derivative keywords that are relevant to your niche. Over time, as you continue to grow your content base and your link network, you'll develop more authority in your chosen niche and subsequently attract more traffic. So now that you understand what long tail derivative keywords and semantic long tail derivative keywords are, let's take a look at how to use Market Samurai to find these important keyword phrases. What we need to do is to conduct another round of keyword research for our theme keyword and each of our category keywords. This time, however, we'll be using different search settings and different filters in order to find the long tail keyword phrases that we're looking for. So let's take a look at the sleeping bag example from start to finish. I'll begin by creating a new project and entering sleeping bag as my initial keyword. And then I can come over here and click the create button. And now I want to jump into the keyword research module to begin my search. The first thing I want to do is to generate a large list of keywords so that I can find as many long tail phrases as possible. So, in the keyword sources area, I'm going to make sure that the Google synonym tool is checked 
and that I'm including the additional keywords. Next, I'll come down here and include Google search keywords as well. To generate my keyword list, I'll just come across here and click the Generate Keywords button. I'll enter a CAPTCHA and click Submit. Market Samurai then brings back a large list of keywords. You'll notice that by checking the Google Search Keywords checkbox, I've managed to bring back 618 related keywords. To explore these keywords in more detail, I'll just come down here and click the Analyze Keywords button. Now my next step is to filter these keywords to find the long tail derivative and semantic long tail derivative phrases that I'm looking for. The first filter I'll set is an SEO traffic filter. You may remember that when we were looking for our theme and category keywords, we set this value to 80 to make sure that our main keywords had a reasonable level of daily traffic. This time, however, we're interested in finding a large number of keyword phrases that have a small amount of traffic and low competition. So I'm going to set my SEO T value to 10. This will allow me to see keyword phrases that generate at least a small amount of traffic each day. Next, I'm going to set my phrase to broad match ratio to 15 because I still want to focus on items that people are actually searching for. And now having set these filters, I'll come across here and click the Analyze Keywords button to bring back my SEO competition data. Now I'm going to set my SEO competition filter to be 30,000 because I'm still interested in looking for keywords that have low competition. You'll now see that Market Samurai has isolated 107 keyword phrases that I can use as the basis for additional content. And having a quick look down this list, many of these items appear to be long tail derivatives of my initial keyword, sleeping bag. So just to clarify, the main difference between this search and the search we conducted on day two is that first we included the Google search keywords and second that we reduced our SEO traffic filter from 80 to 10. And this allows us to see the long tail derivative keywords that we're looking for. Now you may be wondering which of these long tail derivative keywords you should target first. The answer is the ones with the least amount of competition which are still relevant to your website. A great way to find the best long tail derivatives to start with is to come over here and click the SEOC column heading which sorts your results from low to high competition. So looking at this example, the term Scooby-Doo sleeping bag has an SEOC value of only 482. If I was to create a good quality blog post that specifically targeted this term, I'd stand a pretty good chance of ranking well in Google and may be able to achieve a number one ranking in which case I'd probably receive about 10 extra visitors per day. Now this may not seem like much, but if I continued down this list and created content to target each of these long tail derivative and semantic derivative phrases, you should be able to see that these small amounts of traffic would quickly add up. And because these long tail phrases are all related to my niche, as I gain traffic for these phrases, I'd gradually develop more authority for my theme and category keywords. So I hope you can now see the true power of using Market Samurai to find long tail derivative and semantic long tail derivative phrases related to each of your category keywords and your theme keyword. By creating content that targets these keywords, you'll gradually build up an effective keyword tree that will attract more and more organic traffic to your website. That's all from me for today, so I'll see you again next time.